Good morrow my quick sonic comrades, this is Cavalier here, and today we'll be covering a nifty little build I made. I, I've never really made one of these videos before. I know that this is uh, certainly not standard for this channel. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I have made one, haven't I? I have done a couple KSP videos, but it's not the standard. It's not the norm. It's a new thing I'm trying out because, well, Twitch is a frustrating beast to work with, and that's all I'm going to say. So what we have here is the Swordfish 2 based on the uh the swordfish 2 is based off of another vessel called the swordfish 2 which is from the show cowboy bebop it is uh the main aircraft of one of the lead characters spike spiegel used to be a racer super awesome glad i'm doing fictional aircraft history super cool just so we're very aware the uh video that you saw a second ago the, or the chunk rather the clip that you saw a second ago was made a couple of days ago. I've made a couple more changes since then. Nothing major. We have a reaction wheel here. This is not actually for stability. I put it on there to kind of make the shape a little bit better. But as it turns out, it works a lot better with a reaction wheel. I shouldn't say a lot better. You can recover a lot better. Um, it still pretty much has the same roll rates and the same pitch authority, same yaw authority. It's 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 not 
it's not helping a lot of that out. It's helping a lot of the stall characteristics. Uh, which this thing has a lot of stall characteristics, I should forewarn you. All that aside, I, I think that's, a, that's enough of the history. Let's just launch things. So as it stands, all we really have to do, we don't have to change this over to wet. We can run it on dry, which really surprises the hell out of me. We don't even have to throttle up. We just hit T, the SAS going, launch that bitch. Um, I will say for the staging, there's one issue you gotta be careful of is the fairing here. You can blow it. There's no way that I know of to turn that off. Although if there is, feel free to turn it off and let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, we blow that, and now we're running just on jet engines. It's pretty much impossible to take off with this thing. Because of this underslung crap right here, I couldn't really sneak in any... The wheels! Yeah, there we go. The landing wheels. I couldn't sneak any of those in there and make it look right. And since this is all about looking right, it's not about performing well. It's not about, you know, this thing is actually really good for long range or any of that kind of crap. This is literally just for looks. It's a racer, man. It's all about looks. That's all there is for it. I didn't want to, you know, sully that any. But... That's fine. It's okay. I think it looks good, and that's what matters. Have I mentioned that it's about looks? Because it totally is. That being said, it is about looks. Good, good yaw authority. Let's, let's see that. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. I think it's pretty good yaw authority. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can get a flat spin going. Yeah, we can. And look, we can recover. I'm. I will say I'm surprised. It recovers surprisingly well. Remember, I'm at half throttle and dry mode. It recovers surprisingly well for as clunky a shape as it is. Uh, I think a lot of that's because of the reaction wheel, but maybe not. Let's uh, let's go ahead and throttle up. Let's get a couple mistakes high before I show you the other maneuverability. Um, it's got a pretty good pitch authority here, as you can see. The wings do flex quite a bit. Uh, it's not bad enough to need struts, but they probably wouldn't hurt the whole thing. Uh, as it stands, let's let's get a couple. Let's get a little bit. Of, let's here. You know, let's just climb a little bit. The, uh, the vectoring on this, the gimbal, the, what is it called, where it's a free gimbal, is it? Yeah, free gimbal on the, uh, afterburner engine, what is it called? The uh, Panther, there we go, is very helpful, I will say that much. It's flying pretty damn well, actually. I've done a couple other tanks and takes, and I think that I might have been a half throttle for all the takes, because I'm actually getting a much faster speed, even on a climb like this. This is a pretty, for this, for this craft, it's a pretty steep climb. Let's see, let's, let's level it out and see how it works. Oh, yeah, that's way faster. I must have been a half throttle. Yeah, good to know. So, yeah, it gets up to speed pretty well. Yaws pretty well. It rolls. Oh, that's not a roll. That's a yaw. Stupid. See, so, yeah, it rolls pretty well. It's not quite a snap roll. You're not gonna... You're not gonna see any uh, F-22-esque aerobatics in this thing. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, there is the issue... I mentioned the struts earlier. There is the issue of when you give full up pitch. Let's just quick save, just in case. But if you give full up pitch... You get that, like, noise, like you're about to crash. But, as you see, it didn't crash, or break, rather. It didn't break, which would cause it to crash. And it recovered surprisingly well. It's, it's actually really, again, shockingly maneuverable. You can do a cobra's head with it, almost. Not 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 great, but pretty close to a cobra's head. I was not paying attention to leveling off. That's why it didn't. So let's, let's, it's rather than looking at the smoke trail, let's try to just do it the right way. We just, we cut hard, pull back, and then you flop forward. Yeah. Well, that eh, wasn't great, was it? <laughs> it's not a powerhouse, man. I don't know. What do you want? It's a cool-looking spaceship, and that's what matters. That's all that matters. Ooh, yeah, that is. Look at oh, look at all that matters right there. That's so good. Halorf is not terribly excited about this whole prospect of flying this thing. That's fine. So. Uh, the last bit of information I should cover is, you'll notice, as I mentioned also, that uh, there's no landing gear. So how do we land this thing? Well, it's a swordfish. Where did the swordfish go? In the sea! So let's go ahead and land this thing. Um, it wasn't by a design, like I didn't intentionally design it to be so, but it can actually land in the water at pretty high speeds. Let's quick save anyway. It can land at a pretty high speed. The highest I've gotten it up to is, I think, 60 ms. Which is, you know, it's not bad. You know, I think if I hit the water at 60 ms, I probably wouldn't feel as good as this ship seems to feel afterwards. But yeah, you just come in, you flare out. Let's try her at 80. Eh, 75 maybe. Maybe not. Maybe down to 70. Well, let's just land it. Let's see how it goes. So yeah, 60. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. Nice. I really like this aspect because in the uh, anime, a lot of the ships, I think the ships almost always land in water. And it's just such a cool look. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's the uh, Swordfish 2, or Swordfish II, if you're stupid and don't know Roman numerals. And uh, I'll see you around next time.